Okay, so uh, welcome to our 9 a.m. Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021 meeting of the Chappaqua Central School District Board of Education. Uh, may I have a motion to call the meeting to order? Move. And to open the public session. And may Move. I have a se uh, second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Now, uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Holly McCall. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States of, the United States of America. Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, under God, individual, under God, liberty, individual liberty, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you, Holly. And now I'd like um, a motion for the board to move into executive session to discuss potential litigation, contracts, matters of health and safety, and to receive advice of counsel. I'll move. Jane, um, may I have a second? Warren. Warren, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, aye. We'll now go to exec. Thanks, everyone. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Um, the board has been in executive session discussing potential litigation, contracts, matters of health and safety, and to receive advice of counsel. May I have a motion to reconvene the public session? I move. May I have a second? Second. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, so I would like to start with item 4.1. May I have a motion to acknowledge the change order approved by the superintendent as per board resolution. I move that we uh, acknowledge a change order. Okay, I will second. second. Okay, okay, Jane, go ahead. Second. that's fine. Jane seconds. Mm -hmm. um, any discussion? No, all in favor, please say aye. 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 I move that uh, we approve item five. May I have a motion and a second to start the discussion? I'll move. I will second. Um, Christine, do you want to share the screen and start off our discussion on this uh, on this resolution? Okay. Do you see my Do you see the screen? Yeah, yeah it's partly so, yes. it's partly hidden. I don't know if that's my um, <clears throat> Zoom Zoom screen getting in the way. Okay, I I, I can see it. It's appearing okay. now. Thanks. All okay. right. So uh, we have been waiting for the local health department to make a determination on higher risk sports and whether or not we'd be able to move forward with them based on Governor Cuomo's announcement on February 1st, allowing that to happen pending approval from local health departments. So late last night, we received uh, approval to move forward. And part of the approval process was um, the need for a board resolution, recognizing that the district was going to have higher risk sports uh, participation at the high school level. So that's the first part of this and what those sports are and what grade levels will be participating. And then the second part of it is um, in their guidance to us, they recommend that our athletes be screened for COVID-19. Um, so um, the second resolution is the board authorizing me to engage in a screening process with athletes who are on high risk sports teams. Um, the, uh, this is the first step in the process for these teams to be able to compete um, and practice. And without approving this resolution, those teams won't be able to um, engage in interscholastic athletics in, in, in the, um, during the winter, winter season. So um, we were able to add the resolution on um, Tuesday to the agenda in anticipation that this would be necessary. And then last night it became a necessary requirement. So that's why I have it here for you today. So Christine, as we um, consider this resolution, um, I just want to provide the background to how we've been approaching guidance from the state. Um, we've been basically following state and Westchester County health guidance. Uh, as far as the opening of school and all of the other factors that have gone into how schools open during this pandemic. And so that's been our practice going forward in, in a consistent manner. Um, and in this case, the guidance 
is that school districts in Westchester can opt in to um, this allowance for participation in, in these winter sports. And it looks like most districts will be allowing their students to participate. And we could opt not to do it, but we'd probably be the only district not allowing our student athletes to participate. <laughs> and um, so as we, as we consider this and we can have a discussion and we can, some of us may disagree or we could change our minds on this. Um, my view in looking at this is that if we communicate all of the factors and, and protocols that are involved and the risks involved that parents can make decisions for their children. And um, in addition that, um, I, I also consider that their mental health components to everything we decide in terms of opening up of schools and participation in activities, um, a lot of times we've seen that students really rely on, on their activities to enable them to be in the best possible mental health that they can be in. And that's been a big consideration. I know um, at the Board of Regents level is to talk about student mental health in, in all of these factors. So I, I just wanna bring that up to say that that's something that we take into account as well. So those are the factors I'm thinking about as I'm looking at this resolution, but I, I would love to hear what people are thinking before we vote. Um, I just have a couple of thoughts, which is that, um, you know, we all personally, uh, as family members, parents, board members, et cetera, we all have our personal opinions as to what's safe, what should be happening now, what we feel comfortable with perhaps in our own family, but we, as a school board and a school district, we, we have to rely on guidance from um, the applicable authorities. And even if we may not agree this, they are allowing these sports to go forward. Um, they have set up a mechanism in terms of parent consent forms, what they have to sign off on. Um, we ourselves will, as a district have always gone over and above in terms of making it as safe as possible for our students. Um, and I think if we take all that guidance and then make our own personal decisions as what we will allow and not allow, that's not a great thing to do as a school board and a school district. So, um, you know, I do have some mixed feelings about the risks involved in some of these sports, but given the guidance we received, I think it's appropriate to follow that guidance to inform the families and the parents about every aspect of this, what they are taking on, and then let them know what we are taking on to make it as safe as possible. I think that's our job and what we can do at this point. So um, that's just my two cents. Yeah, Holly. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, wanna say, you know, we talk about always having the, the students um, centered in our thinking and because there is state and local guidance on allowing this to happen and their peers are having this opportunity. I, I think it's incumbent on us to make this available, these higher risk sports to our families, along with all of the other information about what they can do to keep themselves safer, what we can do and are going to offer to make the experience as safe as possible. Um, but knowing that there's still risks and ultimately, um, you know, the parents and the student are going to have to do what is most comfortable uh, for them with their own safety and risk tolerances. But I think that, um, you know, keep, again, keeping the students centered, their safety and their mental health um, are both very important. And I think that right. making this available is, uh, is the right thing to do. Uh, as a parent, I may not necessarily sign my children up if they were high school high risk athletes but again I think that having the opportunity available is what's important here. Anything else? I think I you know I concur with everything that's been said um, so far. First of all I appreciate all the administration has done and continues to do, keep our schools open and educating the children of our district. 
that they continue to follow, you know, the state and county guidance. And let me say, I truly believe in a strong mind, strong body. But I do believe that um, student participation in athletics is good for both, as you said, Vicki, uh, physical and emotional growth for our kids. But based on the guidance or lack of guidance from New York State and Westchester County, because it seems like the state is pushing this to the county, the county is pushing it to us regarding high-risk sports, I'm very concerned. About, I'm, I'm, I have my very deep concerns about passing these resolutions. I guess where I come out is I agree with what's been said that if this is being permitted and other districts are affording their athletes the opportunity to participate in accordance with the guidance that has come down, we should go along with that guidance and, and implement it in the safest way possible. I'd be lying if I said I didn't sort of wish the guidance were a little bit different. I, I think that mm -hmm. in many ways, this is putting families in a very difficult position in terms of making the choice on whether or not to participate. Um, and I think that each family is going to have to make that decision. And I, it's not an easy one, um, but the guidance mm -hmm. is what it is. And, and I agree um, with what's been said that, that as long as we are, our policy has been to operate in accordance with the guidance and, and so far it has served us well, and we will be testing the athletes. Um, and I think, you know, can, can only hope that they will all make as careful decisions as they can outside of school and athletics. Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't love on some level that this is the first time this has been pushed to a board resolution versus the other seasons and other sports. Um, So I, I guess what I'm saying is that that with some reservations, I agree that it's the right decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'd have to agree with I think that. I think that's been said, even though, you know, it, there are contradictions. And I think Warren is absolutely right to be very concerned. And I, I certainly share those concerns and I suspect everyone else does as well. And we we're, le we're left with having to make a decision. And that's our role. It's to make really difficult decisions that are not going to be 100% clear at the time that we make them. We can only do our best. And either we decide to prevent our students from participating in what all other districts are participating in, or you know, we, we go with the guidance as we've been doing all along. So that's been a clear uh, process that we've had. And um, to stick with that process and have as much uh, of the protections that we can. Uh, we're very lucky here to have access to um, testing. We have testing resources that will provide our students and we have a lot of safety protocols. So again, it's, it's not an easy decision but it's a decision that we have to make. So. Um, Agree on all counts, Vicki, agree. Yeah. Um, so are we okay. ready to call for, for a vote at this? Is there anything anyone else would like to add at this point? Nope. All right. So at this point, sorry, I'm trying to find my agenda again here. Okay. So all in favor of the resolution in item number five, please say aye. 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 Um, all uh, opposed? Uh, one opposed? Uh, okay, so that's four in favor and one, one and opposed. And I truly that. believe that Christine and the administration will do everything they can to make this work. I just don't think it's in the right, to, I don't believe we've gotten correct guidance. So though we'll follow the guidance we've gotten, I think the guidance is, mis, is we're, we're being misguided by this. Okay. That's okay. my vote. Nothing against Christine and the administration. They've done everything great. I know they'll, they'll right. follow this also. Unfortunately, I don't believe that they're getting the, gu the guidance that the state and the county are giving. They're, 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 they're giving up their ability to, to lead and they're pushing it out. 
Agree. Mm -hmm. Agree with that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thanks for that vote, everyone. Okay, so we will proceed. Um, and we're up to notice of future meetings. Our next meeting will be Wednesday, February 10th at 7.30 p.m. at the Horse Greeley Auditorium. And following that will be a meeting on Wednesday, March 3rd at 7.30 p.m. at the Horse Greeley Auditorium. That, and that will be the superintendent's budget proposal. So at this time, I would like to ask for a motion to adjourn the public meeting. I mean, we have, we, we have uh, Vicki, we have people, uh, we have attendees who want to ask your questions or? Uh, we could, we don't, we generally haven't okay. done that at the special meetings. Okay. But um, we can, is, is everyone in favor of, do I try to follow protocol so that oh, works? Sorry, I, I, right, I forgot what you oh, It's okay. Um, so that's, that's why, just so everyone knows at our special meetings, we usually don't have uh, okay. public comment on the agenda. But um, if anyone would like to uh, make a comment, you're always free to email the board. We're happy to uh, respond and you're, you know, we have our next meeting um, where people can, can comment, so. So I think that's ample opportunity and, and we've we voted on the items on the agenda. So I think we'll just okay. move to adjourn at this point. I move to adjourn at 11 a.m. Okay, may I have a second? Right on schedule. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll second. Jane I'll second. Seconds. Okay. All in favor, please All say right. aye. Aye. We are aye. adjourned at 1101, actually. Okay. Bye. Right. Thank, Thank you very you much, everyone. everyone. Okay. Thanks. Good day. Bye bye.